Hey, what's going on guys? If you remember in the last episode, we modified my log jump that I originally built and we fixed it up, brought down the landing a little bit, brought it closer and it's actually working pretty well. I even brought the landing a little closer um, after I did episode one and I put it in a couple of berms, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I was suggesting that we put in a jump on the berm. Turns out that yes, you can jump over it, but it is easier just to go around the bend. So what you do, come off the jump, you immediately put on your brakes and you pretty much just slide in the dirt and you can go around that corner just fine. Since I'm pretty much done with that section, I think we should move on. And I'm thinking that we put in a jump near the uh, big one. So then it crosses over the takeoff for the uh, big jump and lands on the other side. And then we can cut it back onto a trail that I'll show you in a minute. So as you can see, I put in a berm on the trail right here. It's very small just gives a little bit of a something to push into then you come along here and I dug out a little bench right here so then you can dig in right there and you come up on the jump you jump down here and I brought the landing down quite a bit because when I was doing this I was pretty much jumping the flat and pushing it all in since it's all sand so that works out pretty well and pretty much just put on your brakes and skirt around that bend. under that tarp is actually the big jump which I'll uncover when we start to work on this. But this is just a little pile of dirt. But what I want to do in today's episode and what I'm thinking is you're going to go around the loop here. You're going to come back out. You're going to cut this away right here between those two bark pieces. You can come here and you jump over the landing down there and then cut back onto that trail maybe or even a more sharper turn to go over there. All right, so while I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do with that jump, I think we're gonna start clearing out the path for it. So I think I pretty much finished benching this all out, getting down to the good dirt, nice and flat. Pretty nice. That's all the bad dirt. I'll probably shove that in the bottom of the jump just for structure and it'll pack in over time. But what I want to do now is take this dirt, move it forward up to this one a little bit so that we can jump up over it. Possibly just build a little landing on the other side of that right there so you can go right there. But it may be possible to just jump up here and land on the takeoff. Now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like it needs to be more steeper because if I get on the side of it here and you guys can see, that's the top of the takeoff and that's the top of the takeoff for this jump. There's a little bit of a difference. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it over to here. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to pile more dirt up in the center here, maybe put some logs in there for support and just pile it up a little bit so we have a little more of something or maybe I'll just fill this whole gap in and we can have a tabletop all right so I did decide to go with making the lip a little bit bigger with some trash dirt I had over in a pile right there um, but uh, I don't know I feel like it's gonna fall apart over time just because it's mostly sand so 
what I'm thinking is I'm going to go over to my dirt pit. I'm going to just grab wheelbarrow full to the top with um, a bunch of dirt, good clay, and I'm going to pack it in on the top and sides. That's what that is right there. And I'm going to get more of that, pack it in on this whole jump, and it should be ready to ride. Oh, and put some water on it. All right, so I finished coating the uh, jump in a nice fine layer of this super packy clay stuff. So that should set in pretty well. I'm gonna hit it with the flat back shovel in a minute uh, just to set it down even more. And then uh, throw some water over it. Um, but I got quite a bit of dirt left here. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, since I'm not really good at transfers because that's what this is, you're pretty much coming up here and you have to turn your back wheel to get down here. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna probably do is take the rest of that dirt, I'm just gonna build an emergency landing right here on the side so that you jump right there. So I just finished this little landing thing. I don't know how well it's going to work. It's a little odd and I've never seen this type of feature before. But this should work. If I jump up here and go down there, it should work. Because you're pushing into that. And this is a little bit of a curve. You kind of lean into that. It's sloped down like that. So you come jump. You can see the jump over there. Jump down here. Come around. Back on the trail. And hopefully I don't crash. Hopefully I just go right here. I think now what I'm going to do is water it down and then we could stare at it. guys we didn't get to ride it today but we made a lot of progress i am super excited about this and really happy to hit this the trail's looking really nice um and if you guys subscribe and leave notifications on you guys can be updated for my next episode where i'll uh, be adding a new feature possibly i don't know what yet but i'll be thinking about it and be riding this one because it'll be dry by then and it'll be nice and ready to ride all right guys i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did give this video a like and subscribe if you guys would like to see this future content uh like this and um next episode is going to be a good one and uh yeah i really like the progress we made today and um as you saw the big jump is even bigger and uh there is a video on my channel a youtube short that you guys can go watch there's a card right here right there um that you can click on and go watch that video uh but without further ado guys hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one